Hi all, this is Shadal Dhatri. I am a product manager here at Clio. And today I will be going through the Dynamics C65 SCM2 Extral Accelerator. So before I get into the details of this specific accelerator, I will give you a brief overview of what an accelerator does. An accelerator provides out-of-box tube integrations which can be used to integrate with trading partners. These integrations will help speed time to revenue and drive efficiency in your operations. And all of our accelerators are built in such a way that you do not need any complex coding to enable them. You'll only need simple configuration. And our accelerators contain pre-built business process logic so that you can quickly onboard partners and enable your business transactions. So today I'll be giving you a demo on the Dynamics C65 Supply Chain Management to X12 Accelerator. So this accelerator is a network accelerator. What it means is this will help you integrate with all the trading partners who use EDI Excel documents. So for example, if you want to onboard a trading partner who would send an purchase order in the EDI 850 format. So in that case, you could use our accelerator to consume the inbound purchase order and then convert it to a sales order in your Dynamics C65 ERP. So this is what uh, the Accelerator does in a nutshell, it will help you integrate with all the partners you are using EDI. And just to note, this will not only help with EDI partners, but for example, if some of your partners want to use CXML or JSON as a format. So even in those use cases, you will be able to use this x as a backbone uh, of your integration and then just do a conversion between EDI to CXML or EDI to JSON and vice versa. For example, you may you might ask that some of our trading partners host APIs. How can we use to, this to integrate with them? Again, in that scenario, this T65 to Excel accelerator would be a backbone or the baseline, on top of which you can build API calls and do the integration. And also, uh, this accelerator, the supply chain management accelerator, is built using data management framework, which is the Microsoft recommended approach to manage integrations. So now I'll be going through a quick demo of the accelerator along with our CIC app. So this is how uh, the end-to-end -end transactions will look on the CIC cockpit once you use this accelerator. So this screen shows you an example of one end-to-end -end cycle that is in the inbound purchase order, an outbound order acknowledgement, an outbound ASIN, and an outbound invoice. So what essentially happens is when, when you receive an EDI document, our accelerator converts that EDI document into a language which Dynamics C6 to SCM can understand, that is CXML in this case. And this CXML is used to create a sales order in the Dynamics C6 to by ER. For example, let us look at one of the use cases. So let us take this example. This is the EDI document, which has the purchase order number, ORD 17. These are the address details, which are relevant to the purchase order. And the item A0001 is being ordered for quantity three. So how would this translate into Dynamics 365 ERP? So this is what happens once you process that inbound EDI, this would create a sales order in Dynamics C65 with the customer references order 17. And this 002517 is a Dynamics generated sales order, which is an internal number within the ERP. And these are the address details as specified in the EDI gets converted and gets added to the address section in the Dynamics C65 ERP. And if you look at the items section of the same order, the item A0001 is being ordered in quantity three. So this is what our accelerator does. It has all the business process logic and transformation, which is required to convert the inbound EDI document to a sales order in your Dynamics 365 ERP. Not only this, we'll also readily provide you with other flows like outbound order acknowledgement, advanced ship notice, and invoice. In these three documents, what would happen is instead of consuming an EDI and converting it to an order, 
what would happen in this case if you consume information and data from the dynamic c60 erp and convert it into an edi format which your trading partners can understand so this is not just limited to four flows for example you might want to do an additional flow which will give you all the tools necessary to build those additional flows using the data management framework so this is quick uh, nutshell of the d65 accelerator please remember this helps you onboard your partners faster and be agile in your business environment thank you and all the best